Hello everybody, welcome back to Baku for this uh, Euro 2020 quarter final match. Czech Republic about to face Denmark and uh, today we're going to end this phase of the knockout stage and we're going to find out the remaining two semi-finalists. Today, today we'll also have Ukraine against England, so we'll find out already, keep an eye out for it. I'll give more details about these two sides after the anthems. So let's see how they line up these two teams for the match. Vasilev, Czechos, captain, starting goal. Kalas, Tereska, Borgo, and Kufal, defense, Borgo, and Suchek, and Kalafet, Barak, Shevchik, and Masipus. We play behind the lone striker, Patrick Shek, on the lookout for a record tonight. Denmark with Schmeichel in goal, Christensen, Vestergaard, and captain, Kerr in defense. Vasilev, Lamy, Male, Koyberg, and Lamsgaard in the middle. Refwoib and Goldberg in attack. So getting things started here and uh, looking at the previous round of 16 we saw Denmark walking the floor with uh, Wales a 4-0 victory in uh, Amsterdam in the first round of 16 match. Czech Republic with a huge upset but a very deserved win against the Netherlands in Budapest last uh, Sunday 2-0 the score have uh, played terrifically well and uh, Patrick as I said just a goal away now from um, becoming the top scorer of this competition if he scores tonight at least a goal he's going to get the same number of goals as Cristiano Ronaldo five in number and as we know Portugal has been knocked out so Ronaldo is not going to get a chance to extend that number However, Schick can definitely do that, even starting tonight, who knows. But uh, yeah, we're expecting, uh, we're expecting another entertaining fixture here. We should see plenty of uh, delightful football, as we have seen in most of uh, the Euro 2020 matches. I don't think anyone can pinpoint to a boring match at this tournament. I really can't, can't think of one. And um, yeah, looking forward to seeing who is going to qualify as I mentioned uh, at the beginning of the video Ukraine against England is going to be the last quarter-final match it's going to be played today after, after this one of course it uh, will be played in Rome where things have started that's a foul and a free kick will be awarded to the Czech Republic also a yellow card for Delaney very reserved one I would say yeah absolutely nothing to the ball tackle from behind so yeah as I was saying the last quarter final match Ukraine versus England to be played in Rome and then the semi-finals and the final played at Wembley in London see that deflection if the ball will go out no Damsgaard keeps it in 
He still gets a, nope, doesn't get a throw in. Apparently he was last at the ball. And the throw has been awarded to check it. Chalice cap. It's playing long towards Schick. Norwegian on the pass, pulls back with Denmark. To Dallas guard, cross again towards Dolberg, and I think it's gonna be a corner, yes, for Denmark. Good defending from the Czech Republic this time. Vass passing to Dallas guard, it's back to Vass. Cut inside the box, uh, pass now to Muller. Ref wait, Boyberg. A shot, oh goodness, I actually thought this was going in. There. Half an hour gone, no goals yet, but uh, we should see one soon enough. Denmark with more attempts until now. Czech Republic playing, um, well, I, I was uh, tempted to say a bit more cautiously than even in against the Netherlands, but uh, if you remember the first half, they played in uh, quite similar fashion, and things have changed in the second half once they realized the Netherlands were not gonna cause any trouble and uh, yeah that second half was great for the Czech Republic of course putting aside the obvious victory and qualification in this uh, stage they have scored two great goals they have controlled that match in, in, in the entirety of the second half that was great but now they're having to defend against Denmark his dumps guard uh, trying to get in the middle Masakus has won the ball back for the Czech Republic as we're just five minutes away from halftime Christensen passing to Brethwaite goes in the middle to Hoiberg Damsgaard and now Maller looking for support it's a cross towards Dolberg again this should this time with his head but uh, not too far the battling Time added is gone. The referee goes for the break. It's goalless between Czechia and Denmark. We'll have to see if uh, things will change in the second half and extra time will be avoided. Yes, and we're live again for Czech Republic against Denmark in Baku. Goalless at the start of the second half. Czechia with no shots. In the first half, I uh, took a look at the stats during the break. Denmark with three and a couple of them on target. So, as I said, a team with more chances, a team with a bit more initiative. But also, as I mentioned before, Czech Republic has played in a similar fashion against uh, Netherlands, focusing on the fence. And then the second half, they uh, scored and um, really showed their full potential. Now to see how things will evolve in the second half. I am inclined to think it's actually a bit more balanced. The Golden Netherlands were favourites in that round of 16 match and still lost. I have to say the two teams here are much more at the same level and uh, we should um, see a decisive goal. I think this match is going to be decided by a single goal. I might be wrong, of course. Oh, here's a great pass to Barak. He's stopped by Delaney. Um, but of course, at the same time, I'm also considering um, extra time to be played here. Pass back to Christensen, it gets to Vestergaard. Delaney. Damsgaard, who's sitting on the left, it's facing Masterpiece there. And out of bands. There's the ball in the middle to Hoiberg. Damsgaard now to Mele. Good run on the left. Dribbling past Masakos. Gets in the box. Took the tackle there. Delaney now with a pass to Dolberg. Great defending. He turned around. Took the shot. Uh, might have scored if the 
defender wasn't there. Have another look at that. Look at the space, but what a great intervention from the defender. They still have to continue to defend, though. This uh, corner kick and it sets up by Bass. Looks like a good cross, and it's headed away. Gets to Mele. Not too late to pass it on the right side. There was an opportune moment which he didn't use, but the ball still now give it away to Brefwait. Pass the pass behind to Hoiberg. That's an intelligent pass to get it back to him. And it's going to be yet another corner kick awarded to Denmark in the 65th minute. 70% possession for the Danes. And they have taken, I would say, complete control of the match. It's fast with the cross. Dolberg once again unable to reach it with his head. Denmark in complete control, as I said. Uh, Czech Republic, I think, haven't even gotten out of their own half. And it's Dolberg here! Yeah, it hits the post with his head. It is the third or fourth time he's attempting a header here. And this was the closest he's gotten to goal. Yeah, as I was saying, Denmark controlling the match. Czech Republic unable to get out their own half and uh, very close to considering a goal here. It's going to be a throw to Czech Republic. That touch before it went out. Masopas replaced now by Kaderovic. A defensive change for the Czech Republic. Definitely um, a severe pressure lately. Suchek trying to play long to Schick. Kerr is there, gets it to Vass. Brefweight passing to Hoiberg. Delaney. Damsgaard. Back and goes to Thomas Delaney. Now Mello. Now the ball played into towards Dahlberg. Found the ball by the Czech Republic this time. Barak. Only Schick in front, but it's dispossessed by Delaney. It's Bass. Hoiberg. Delaney. Damsgaard. Mele. Crosses it in, Czeleska there. Time is ticking away, and I think, hope I'm not uh, speaking too soon, but I think we're heading towards extra time. As I said, uh, this match could have only been decided either by a single goal or by extra time. Certainly, there's still time left for a goal, and is Denmark attacking? Bass's cross has been blocked. They continue to put pressure with this throw-in. And this could be an important moment. Uh, Paulsen stepping in for Denmark. He's replacing Brethwaite. I think this is a very intelligent move by the manager. Let's see if it will pay off. It's Paulsen receiving straight away. Plays it to Mele. It's been uh, dispossessed by Kadirabek. And now the pass to Schick. All alone there. He's lost the ball seconds after receiving it. Pass. Only two minutes added. Denmark trying to push here for the winning goal. That ball doesn't reach down. Scarbe get a throw in though. Here's Damsgar to Mele. Receiving again. The cross is blocked and there's the full-time whistle to end the 90 regular minutes. Two halves of extra time coming right up. Let's see if uh, this match will be decided then. Here we go with the start of the first half of extra time. The Czech Republic still without a single shot in the entire 90 minutes, but their defending was good enough for them to take this match to extra time. And, uh, it would be just insane if they uh, reached penalties and win it there without taking a shot in the entirety of the 120 minutes. But uh, 
we'll have to see. Just, uh, <laughs> just speculating here, as you know, I very much like to do. He's Holesh receiving. Schick, dispossessed by Kerr, and it's a free kick awarded to Checker. I must admit I did not catch the foul. I'm still not sure. Looks like he's been fouled by Peno, honestly. Anyway, a chance for the Czech Republic to play this ball in the box. Schick tried to hit it to kick off, but uh, the ball has been lost. Schmeichel. Long ball towards Cornelius. Cornelius. Schick. This possess once again. They they need to uh, support it much better than this. No wonder they have had no shots registered yet. Since they uh, they don't help uh, Patrick Schick, but as I said, um, they are focusing on defending right now. Vestergaard is Damsgaard receiving the lane now to Cornelius. You can't finish this attack. 15 more minutes, otherwise, it will be decided on penalties. 15 more minutes, ladies and gentlemen. That's all they have left. Otherwise, we will go to penalties. I cannot stop thinking about what I said earlier. If they manage to defend this insanely well, even as much as sacrificing the offensive department and having no shots in the entire 120 minutes, and then go on to win a penalties, then uh, Czech Republic is going to get uh, certainly, certainly a lot of differing reactions, especially on the internet, I'm thinking. But uh, yeah. Oh, what a chance for Denmark. It's been stopped by Vasilik down, headed shot by Cornelius. Going back to Delaney. Oh, they can't get past Holish. He's back on the ball, going past it to Mele. Closing by a couple of opponents there. Finding space for the cross still towards Cornelius. It goes! Vasilik keeps it out. Excellent goalkeeping. Oh my word, they're defending well, both uh, on the field and in the goal as well. Just one minute left, they're kicking the ball far, far away. Denmark pushing on, no, no time left, and we're headed for the penalty shootout. Oh, you just know this pressure. We've lived through it many times as fans, as supporters, but never as players. Just imagine the pressure for Patrick Schick, the first penalty taker, and he scores, gets his fifth goal at this Euro. Now, let's see if uh, they'll be able to pull all the way through to the semi-finals after this uh, good start. Cornelius first for Denmark. And he scores! What a cheeky shot there. Up next is Shevchik. Facing Schmeichel. Oh, it saves! It hit the post. Not sure if it was of that Schmeichel deflection or not, but it didn't go in either way. Hoiberg now. He scores, makes it 2-1 for Denmark. Kadirabek. Scores. Two, two. And now, Damsgaard 
has to score to maintain the lead. Oh no, it's stopped by Vatilek. They're level with two penalties remaining. Suchak up next for checkout. And he scores. Alex will take taken penalty. Let's see. Delaney. It's a goal. 3-3. Three, three. And it's up now for the possibly decisive penalties. Holosh first. Oh, he scores. 4-3. And all the pressure now on the last taker. It's Yusuf Paulson. What a moment. Let's see what we make of it. He scores. And we are marching on with this shootout. Let's see who's next. Barak. Oh, it's saved. It's saved by Schmeichel. One of the poorest penalties I've seen. And now Vas can take Denmark to the semi-finals! 5-4 and it's over! Denmark have reached the semi-finals and they can start dreaming big now. Thank you for watching this match. It's been dramatic. Hope you've thoroughly enjoyed it. One final quarter-final left.